Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And we are back with another Whiskey Talk Tuesday video where we cover a conversation or try to start a conversation with you guys, the whiskey community, mm -hmm. and we will read all your comments below. So make sure you let us know your top 10 bourbons for under $60. But that's what we're covering today. Our top 10 bourbons for under $60. We hope this is helpful. We hope this is informative. And let's get right into it because we've got a lot of ground to yeah, cover. Yeah, we do. Let's so do it. So first up is going to be 1792 Small Batch. Yep. The obvious candidate for this spot right here is going to be Buffalo Trace, but that is not an available product for everybody. We get the same fruity sweetness. Well, and we tend to like this more than Buffalo yeah, Trace. Yeah, slightly more. Yeah. We get the same fruity sweetness, but it brings in a little bit of depth as well. But this to me just really tastes kind of like raspberry jam. And I love it for that. And for like 25 to $30 in most markets, it's pretty readily available and it's hard to beat. You can't really go wrong with this one. We're gonna go ahead and just keep it rolling. We're yep. gonna go right into our next product, which is gonna be 10 cup, 10 year. Yes. Specifically the 10 year not any other product from this company because every other product they have is garbage. But Whoa, that's a bold statement. I stand by it. Okay. This product though is very good. It's all sourced MGP bourbon from Indiana. And to us, the natural placement here on the list would be Eagle Rare, yeah. but people can't find Eagle yeah. Rare. And we, I want to say we do like Eagle Rare. I definitely do like Eagle Rare, yeah. but this is a really good substitute. And I think we like it more than Eagle we Rare. We do like So it that's why Rare. this is in our top 10. Yeah. If you can find Eagle Rare in your area for 35 or 40 bucks or under, buy that. But if you can't and you can find this for $50, buy this instead. Yeah. Same thing for the 1792 small batch. It's a fantastic product. This is a fantastic product. And you can't really go wrong with it. 10 years old, 10 year bourbon? Yeah. Get you some. All right, with our allocated alternatives out of the way, yeah. let's go ahead and get into our next bottle All here. Right. And this is gonna be green. Oh, I should have said the 10 cup is usually about $50 in most markets. Yeah. So under $60 is the key here. Green River, this stuff is so good. Yeah. It's 90 proof and everything else has been fairly low proof as well. But this is to us for 30 to $35 the most non-boring, really nice yeah. sipper of a 90 proof yeah. that you can get your hands on. And it makes great cocktails. It's got a little bit of zip. It's got a little bit of spice. It can stand alone on its own, but then it also is really nice mixed yeah. in cocktails. The bottle's kind of gorgeous. It's got this horseshoe on the bottom. Yeah. We've had this in a blind head to head against Blanton's. We've had it in off the channel, we've had it in blind head to head against a lot of things mm -hmm. and it's performed very, very well for us. And I think when I sit down with this bottle, even though I like sweet and I like spice and I like high proof and you like more of a tempered sweetness yep. and a more of a balanced profile, this is one that can satisfy the both of us. Agreed. And that's saying a lot for a sub $35 bottle of bourbon. So definitely yeah. check out Green River if you haven't yet. Next up, we're going to have Old Forester 1910. Yes. And this. For us, this is great. This is like breakfast in a bottle. Yeah. It's pancake syrup, bacon. It's yeah. so good. And I prefer this one over 1920. I know a lot I of people too. like 1920 and that's fine. Um, it's, it's good if you like it, but we like the 1910. So that's why this is one of our top 10 bourbons. Absolutely. Yeah. It's pushing $60 in our market, but for us, it's so flavorful. Yeah. And it's the it's the go-to pour when you want to introduce someone to a big flavor, yeah. but they prefer lower proof. Yeah. They can't handle the spice, they can't handle the proof, but they still want to experience the flavor that you can get out of bourbon. Yeah. And this right here is almost unbeatable for the price. Speaking of proof, it's time that we step it up a little bit. Okay. And let's go ahead and step up to 100 proof. Okay. And So all of these were below 100 proof that we were just talking about. Yes. Okay. And so now we're up at 100 proof and we're still well under $60. So far, we've only touched $60 once at $59.99 in our market for Old Forester 1910. Mm. This is coming in at $25 in our market for a liter, nice. a liter of cola. And this does have some cherry cola elements in mm -hmm. it we really like it a lot it's it's got this darkness and this decadence to yeah, it yeah which for, josh loves which i love and for like a 25 dollars liter that's yeah. insane yeah like to be able to get this and there are other bottles if you can't get this in your market there are other bottles you should look into 
personally speaking, the next bottle would probably be the next best replacement for it. It's going to be a little higher price, okay? but it still has those kind of cherry dark elements to it. In? Not yet, okay. but I wanted to say, if you can't get this, there's also some other good budget alternatives like Evan Williams White Label mm. or Fighting Cock. Both of those are 100 and 103 or 4 proof respectively. They're both under $20 for a 750 milliliter and they're really good quality pours. We really like those as well. We, do, yeah. we just tend to prefer this compared to those other ones, but man, we really do like those other ones. Yeah. We're really blessed as bourbon fans to have so many good quality options for such an inexpensive price. But let's get this one out of the way. Okay. And if you can't find this and you want that cherry cola note, let's get into what can bring that to you. Yeah. And it's gonna be four rows of single barrel for us. We love this product. Yeah, and I don't think we've had a single barrel, like four rows of single barrel that we haven't liked. Yeah. And they can vary. They um, can, they and, do. And as Josh has mentioned, our palates d differ. He likes dark, decadent, sweet. I like a little t more tempered sweetness, a little more earthiness. And I have loved every bottle of four rows of single barrel that we've had. So I think yeah. that it's a good gap bridger for our, our two palettes. And I think the reason that is, is because of the high rye recipe that you get here. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of sweetness, but it's not too sweet. It's mm -hmm. not cloyingly sweet. Yep. It goes great in cocktails. It stands alone on its own. And, and this is priced at? 40 bucks in our market. Okay. 50 in some markets, but 40 in ours. And about the time we get to this point in the bottle is when we like to go get another bottle mm -hmm. of it and compare it to the last bottle to see how those single barrels differ. Yep. So it's like a little bit of like a science slash whiskey nerd experiment. Yep. That you get built into the product. Can't say enough good things about Four Roses single barrel. They're not all great. Some of them are just good and enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Some of them maybe end up as only a cocktail mixer, but as you try more and more single barrels, like this one is Warehouse AN barrel 26-6F. But as you try more and more, you're going to start finding that some of these bottles are great to sit by themselves. Others are great in cocktails. And for 40 or 50 bucks, you really can't go wrong with yeah. such a high quality product from such a legacy distillery. All right, let's keep climbing up the proof ladder right. and get into our next one. So what was the proof on that? That was 100. Okay. We've been 100. Okay. We've been 40 bucks on that one. Now we're stepping up to, we got some fuzzies on here, maybe from Aaron's sweater. Maybe. But we're stepping up to 116.8 proof. $52 now in our market, yep. although we can find it for 48 sometimes, but it is under $60 in every market that I've heard of. Yep. Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Yes. You knew, if you're a watcher of this channel, you knew this was going to be on here. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of our go-to favorites. It's I, your favorite bourbon, period. It's my favorite bourbon, period. Um, yeah, and I'm a rye drinker, but this is, I love it. I love it. I love it. And sometimes it in blinds, it doesn't perform as well as I want it to, but I still love it. Like yeah. it's, it's, I just, and sometimes in blinds, it performs like the best thing we've ever tasted yeah. before. And that's the like, thing. we've gave this thing near perfect scores in blinds. That's the thing. It just depends on the day yeah. and your palate changes from day to day, season to season. It's quintessential Kentucky bourbon. Correct. It's got your caramel, your vanilla, your oak. Sometimes it comes through with this really nice, like sweet fruity element that's mm -hmm. not too sweet mm -hmm. but it's still very present sometimes it gets really cinnamon heavy and like baking spice yeah. heavy you know it kind of puts you in the kitchen around thanksgiving or christmas these bottles are fantastic i, I can't say enough good things about rare breed if you guys watch the channel for any period of time you already know that but yeah. if you can buy a bottle of this and you haven't yet go ahead and buy it the natural inclusion here also as a piggyback to this is wild turkey 101 buy it, try that as well. Yep, we're we, just, heads. we do tend to prefer Rare Breed over 101 mm -hmm. and would prefer to spend the extra money to get a bottle of Rare Breed over 101, but 101 is fantastic as well. You can't go wrong with this stuff. Let's go ahead and roll right into our next bottle. And we're gonna go ahead and stick with another crowd favorite. And it's gonna be Knob Creek Single Barrel. Yes. 120 proof, nine and a half years, nine, 10 years old. What's the price on this? $120 or 120 Whoa. proof. $50 okay, in our market. Okay, that's better. Breaking all the rules by double <laughs> right off the bat. No, this is $50 in our market. I have heard it's as high as 60 and some findable in most markets. Okay. We've never had a bad one. Correct. You said this was your Th go-to high proof. This one. was my go-to high proof bourbon. Right, when yeah. you want something that just, even though Rare Breed's high proof as well, Rare Breed's a little bit more it, polished it, and refined. A little more polished and refined, a little more well-rounded as yeah. far as it doesn't have as big of a punch. Yeah. 
But this one, if I'm wanting a punch, I want it to be a nice punch, like a very soft, no, not soft, that's not it's right. It's not soft. It's, it's not soft. I just want it to be an enjoyable punch. And right. that's what this is. <laughs> and it's available. It's 50 bucks in our market. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah. I'm going to buy it. I'm never going to not have a bottle of this in my home, period. All that's right. how much I like this product. I like some single barrels more than others. Yeah. But I absolutely love this one. You can't beat it. All right. To this point, we've had some curveballs. We've had some chalk, as you would call it, if you're a March Madness fan, but we're going to get into our kind of wild cards here okay. that you're not going to see these on other people's top 10 list. Nelson Brothers Reserve. Okay. I want to be clear here. This product is from Nashville, Tennessee. It is contract distilled from Bardstown Bourbon Company. We have a little bit of personal ties to this product just because mm -hmm. it's from our city and we like Nelson Brothers and all that stuff, but this is no bias. We put this in a blind flight night, our October blind flight night with our Patreon community. Mm -hmm. We had 14 people participating in that. Six, so. No, 16 people participating in that. This product almost unanimously, other than like two people came in or two or three people. I was one of those. You two were one people. of those. <laughs> this beat out. This was my second place. It was your second place. You picked Blue Run High Rye yep. bourbon over it, but it beat out Blue Run High Rye bourbon for everyone else. Mm -hmm. It beat out Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered, and it beat out the Bellmead Reserve that got announced discontinuation in everywhere but Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even close. Like this was by was, far the landslide yep. favorite of the group. This is a really fantastic product for $58 in our market and it is nationally distributed. So if you were a big fan of the Bellmead Reserve, I would highly recommend you check this out. If you like, I mean, honestly, if you like Heaven Hill products, if you like Jim Beam products, yeah. if you like Buffalo Trace products or MGP products, this kind of fits the bill of all those. Yeah. It brings some fruity sweetness, it brings some spice, it brings some darkness and depth, a little bit of nuttiness. What's the proof on this? 107.8 okay. for $58. I, I honestly put it in that blind flight night with our Patreon community thinking it was going to be last place, but I wanted it to be close. I just wanted it to be close to Bellmead, yeah. close to Blue Run High Rye Bourbon, and close to Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered, and it ended up being the, the winner the winner by overwhelming majority mm -hmm. it wasn't even close I agree. and that is a wild thing to say for a 58 dollars bottle of whiskey that's being contract distilled at a bardstown bourbon company and speaking of bardstown bourbon company let's go ahead and get into our last one okay not their product but this is going to be pursuit united from kenny and ryan over from the bourbon pursuit podcast mm -hmm. they started their own brand and this stuff is fantastic yeah this is 108 proof for 70 or 750 milliliters for 60 bucks in our market. Okay. It's going to be that way in pretty much every market. They have a pretty standardized pricing structure. And the 108 proof point on this, kind of hearkening back to the Bell Mead or the, sorry, Nelson I Brothers. called it the Bell Mead, the Nelson Brothers, 107.8. That's kind of the sweet spot for us. Yeah. And this, we're not going to spoil it, but this recently went head to head with us for Weller for, or against Weller Full Proof, our, our favorite Weller Proof, Weller, why can't I say Weller Full Proof? Our favorite Weller Full Proof store there pick you go. that I made it guys, we got there. We did it, it. took some work, but we got <laughs> there together. This went head to head against that and I don't want to spoil it. But it made this list, so take that for what you will. For 60 bucks, buy this, buy it, try it. Kenny and Ryan are doing some fantastic things yep. and you would be making a big mistake if you skipped this out and didn't give it a shot to at least see if you liked it or not. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, I did okay, good. I think we're done here. <laughs> right. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you'd like to subscribe, we put out videos four times a week. So feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when we post a video and also when we have our monthly live streams. Be good to each other. And until next time, cheers. cheers.